thanks. Weather time tonight. Griffin Hardy tracking a weather aware day and yet another severe weather threat. Griffin. Yep, it's still springtime, so we're not done with severe season just yet. We got a lot of stuff happening to our west. We have this little shortwave trough, which has produced an MCS, another name for a cluster of storms, out ahead of the cold front in much of Louisiana. Got some severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings much down, much farther down to our southwest. This is going to stay to the west for the rest of the night tonight, including this cold front as well. Check out how much active weather we're having to in the uh, parts of the southern plains and midwest. A lot of severe thunderstorm warnings and even some tornado warnings up towards Tulsa, Oklahoma. That line stretches from Oklahoma City all the way up to Chicago. So basically over 700 miles of storms happening along this cold front. But again, that stays to the west for tonight. The uh, main threat for us comes in tomorrow. It's a slight risk, so a two out of five on our scale. Nothing too substantial, but we will get some heavy rain and lightning and some brief damaging winds on the order of 50 to 60 miles per hour, possibly, and potentially some small hail. The tornado threat for tomorrow basically next to zero. Not especially a big concern for tomorrow. So here's how it's going to play out. Maybe a couple showers before midnight, but the main round of showers comes in early tomorrow morning at around 6 a.m. for West Alabama, and then the storms really start to flare up at around lunchtime tomorrow. Notice how they'll be mainly, mainly focused in East Alabama for tomorrow. East of I-65 is where the main threat for storms is going to be. Then those storms push a little bit farther to the east by 2 p.m. They're crossing the state line over into Georgia. Back behind this main line, we could get a few more storms that flare up a little bit as we see the atmosphere warm up in the afternoon. But this will be, again, well, it's conditional. We'll have to wait and see about it but just know that that threat is going to be there for damaging winds and small hail. Here comes the cold front by sunset. It uh, looks like the severe threat's kind of winding down, then the front sweeps through the area after midnight and into Thursday mornings. So here's a breakdown of the threats of medium threat for high winds and large hail. Tornadoes and flooding, just not especially a big concern for tomorrow. For tomorrow. Of course, that is subject to change, but I'm pretty confident that we're not really going to have to deal with any tornadoes for tomorrow. So we have a lot of clouds over Tuscaloosa right now out ahead of this system with the winds coming out of the south. It's pretty warm out there. 77 right now in Tuscaloosa. We got up to around 80 degrees earlier today with that south breeze. 78 right now in Birmingham as well as in Alabaster down to the south and in Clanton. All of us should cool down a little bit down to the low 60s, but not by much. And we'll see those morning showers come in after midnight tonight. Really warming up going into the weekend though. Low 80s and mid 80s for Saturday and for Sunday. And on top of that, we get more sunshine as well. Here's the rest of the seven day forecast got a dry stretch coming with our next rain chance not coming until Monday.